the point of these prep courses is to prepare you for the World Wide Web Consortium's exams for professional certification. Now, in order to do that, what we're doing is following the W3C curriculum. And you can find that curriculum out at the w3schools.com website. And that's what we're looking at right here. And notice that everything here is to teach you to learn to create websites. And as you take a look at the tutorials, you can see the things that we will be covering as the series continues. There's HTML, HTML5, XHTML, Cascading Style Sheets or CSS, Cascading Style Sheets 3, which is the latest version, TCPIP, JavaScript, and the, the list continues. Now, in order to see any particular course's curriculum, you simply follow this menu along the left. I'm going to select Learn HTML. Then you can go down and all of the various tutorials are now listed along that left menu. And as you hover, notice that they're underlined. So we could say we want to see the introduction. And it takes it to, takes us to the introduction page. We can scan through and we can move from chapter to chapter back and forth. Okay. Now, this is there for your reference. However, we will cover this material in our podcasts and in our live sessions. And we'll cover it in more depth than it's covered here. But this is a nice place for review. Also, I want to point out that when you complete the course, each of these courses has a link for an, a quiz and a certificate. Use the quiz to test how well prepared you are to take the exam. Once you're satisfied with your quiz score, go ahead and click on the certificate and take the exam. The professional certification and the exam are handled by the World Wide Web Consortium through W3 Schools. It is independent of this course. I'll talk to you again in just a few minutes. Ta-ta for now.